It's been four years since the wall was erected to prevent the advancing of cartels in East LA. As an unofficial sheriff of the bad story side of the wall, do you feel that conditions are improving? Uh, no, the conditions in here are worse than ever. Sure, the crime rate's down 10%, but the fact is the people in here are poor, uneducated, and hard drug addicts that need rehabilitation, not punishment. Rehabilitation? That's right. My deputies and I are working to rehabilitate the ones that will let us help them and introduce them back into society, not turn our backs on them. Now, it's my understanding that your deputies are like most of the bad story citizens, former criminals, and are earning a shorter probation period by helping you. They call you reckless. Is that why you're on this side of the wall? Well, well I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Where is it coming from? sent me to this side of the wall. I'm not gonna let you. They took everything from me. It's like a bad fucking story. I'm gonna get you help. Reckless. I know that voice. It's for you, boss. Hello, Rick. Carnigan. In the flesh. You know, I thought you were dead. Sorry to disappoint, Rick. You know, how'd you get in here? Or do you think you can just cross the wall whenever you feel like Pretty it? Pretty much, yeah. Listen, Rick. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have something important to say. Spit it out. What's the one thing you want more than anything in this world? Well, I don't know, Cardigan, a good night's sleep. Why don't you stop wasting my time and tell me what it is you want? To tear down the wall. You seen the walls coming down? Well, not exactly. But if the people I represent get back what they lost, it'll come down. You see, Rec, when the bad story side of the wall went up, there were a lot of businesses pissed off at the government for trapping their assets within there. Luckily for Uncle Sam, there were bigger ones lobbying for the wall to be put up to contain this mess. And now here we are. We have a politically controversial wall and a new president, and now the wall is a big problem. Why don't you take the wall now? This is a sensitive situation for the government. And you have something that nobody else has. Yeah, what's that? Local eyes and ears on everybody. My clients need this area 
back there. <laughs> now I know what you want us for. That's Los Mortos headquarters. That's a suicide mission, Carnegie. Now, damn it, Rick, don't be a stick in the mud like your father was. You know, I'm trying to give you an opportunity to write yourself into the history books. All I'm asking you to do is chop the head off the organization and we'll take care of the rest. Yeah, you know, I do it myself, but the CIA and the NSA and all those other acronyms won't let me touch this situation. This is why I need you. But what's in it for me? You do this, and I promise the wall will come down and you'll get your good night's sleep. You know, I arrested a kid this morning and shot another kid for the coke he stole from his father. Now, Carnegie, you know as well as I do that dumping a population with a 90% crime rate back into the mainstream isn't going to work very well. So, if I take this job, if, I want your assurance that there'll actually be a police force in here. Not like now where everybody turns their backs. The more rehabilitation centers. So the population could be integrated back in. And then Carnegie, maybe I'll think about it. Deal. I can do that. It'll take a commitment of resources that the government doesn't have because they're broke, but I can do that. Call next time, Carnegie. Man, that's insane. So some guy from your past walks into Bad Story and wants you to take out the head of those mortals? Really? <laughs> Guys, all I'm saying is this might be the only opportunity we have to end this whole thing. Now, I've been in here from the beginning, and this side of the wall is not getting any better. It's getting worse. I mean, come on, we're the only ones doing anything about this. How long do you think it's gonna last, huh? You know as well as I do that this place is on the verge of tearing itself apart every day. All right, Rick. We understand. But we also understand that going up against the cartel who owns this hood is suicide. I mean, let's face it, we've only lasted this long because we're trying to help rehabilitate these people, not directly go after cartel members. Rick, we're outgunned, outnumbered, 100 to 1. Okay, fine. Let's take a vote. All in favor. All against. Really? Wow. Sorry, Rick. But I'm sure there's another way. Yeah, we'll check it out. All right, I'll talk to you later. I just came from the station looking for you. I thought you might be in this building. Did you do this? How, you sick bastard, did you? No, of course not, Rick. I just came from the station. What is it? You said something, didn't you? How'd they find out about the deal you pitched me? Well, I don't know. Maybe one of your men. My men are the only ones keeping the city from burning to the ground. Yo, I'm sorry, Rick. Fuck! That deal. I'll take it. 